Hey, Danielle. Hey, Laura, Mary, Katie. Hi, Jeffrey. <laughs> awesome. Well, come on in, guys. I have so much to share today that I'm really looking forward to that I know will speak to you. I'm trying to think what we... Who was here last week? What, oh, we talked about foods. I thought we talked about the retreat in Portugal and those miracles on a plane. And if you missed that, my blog is up on middaypigeon.com. Emma, Dana, what's up girls? The blog is up, middaypigeon.com. And I wrote a post titled, Does Your Intuition Scare You? Jot it down, save it for later. It's up, we'll announce it this week. And what we went over in that live and about our gifts and like feeling sometimes afraid of them or like kind of weird for them. And it's, it's all up there for you, for you to dive into. But oh my gosh, I feel so good today. And I only slept, I was like a party animal last night at this, um, Jeff and I did this like deep meditation and cleansing circle. Hey Rosie, yes, oh, love in the scarf. Thank you. I ordered these from Etsy and I am, I am feeling them. They just like cover up the, the hair that you don't want to wash and that you can just pull back. So awesome. Well, I'm feeling so good and not because I've done everything right. I didn't sleep much. We were out late, but what I experienced last night was an incredible purge and I'm going to get into all of it and tell you guys all the details. And, but I, I want to just start with saying we're called so much deeper in our healing than we are ever comfortable with. And what I teach and what I do is like emotional healing and feel it to heal it. And that, and I believe in that. Last night, I was taken so much deeper than I, I didn't know I could go. And it's literally, our physical health is so energetic. Like my body, I'll show you guys something really cool on my chest here in a minute. Hey Kat, hey Stephanie. Hey Carly, oh, Karen, awesome. So glad everyone's coming in. My body feels amazing today and not because I've like done all the things right. Like like I didn't sleep, I got up and went to yoga and, and taught yoga and, and all the things, but it's like literally our physical ailments, they're energetic. How do I know this? Because I know if, if what I cleared and went through and set the intention yesterday, Jeff and I had a really slow Saturday and we worked up to this meditation circle and, and really prepared for it and did like light foods and all the things that you could think. And I didn't know what to expect. And when I got in it, I was feeling like irritated, grumpy. I was so annoyed with Jeff. I'm sure he doesn't mind me saying this now. I was like, I just was like, I can't even stand him. And it had nothing to do with him as in all of our relationships. He's a mirror to me and a mirror to like what was going on in, in my inner being. So I'll get into this in a second, but I want to show you um, this rash on my chest that I don't know if you guys can see that and I'll try not to get censored on Instagram <laughs> for doing this. Um, but let me know, do you see that like right here um, on my chest, like all red, 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 red. Um, this is where, when I was going through the energy clearing, I felt so hot in my chest and like so much coming out of my heart. And I see this happen when I'm doing energy healing on people and they clear their throat and I'm sure it can happen in other areas, but I really only see people exposed here. And when, when you clear a throat chakra, it'll look like that. And I have it right here. And so my heart did a lot of purging last night and it was really what I was telling my teacher is like we, so we go through our healing stages, right? So there's one part of us, um, there's one stage that we're in where it's our suffering. And so that was my chronic illness and that was the toxic relationship I was in. And that was like all of these teachers that I've had along my way, which was my suffering. And now in a lot of you in this group, in this community, you're doing the energy healing certification, you're stepping into your calling, you guys are like moving on and moving forward. And what we find is when we've graduated or um, like moved past our suffering, I mean, we're always going to have a little bit of our own suffering, right? There's still stuff that bumps us out about our family or our, our life or ourself. But when you've really healed past your suffering, what you're going to take in and absorb and experience is, is like other people's. And last night, that's what it was. It was like 
I had no idea. Like I'm like the feel it and heal it gal. Like that's what I'd say my brand and energy healing is. Like how much I wasn't feeling. And I'll talk about why and what trauma does to our energy circuit. Um, but today I feel so much more in flow and in my feminine and I have this rash over my heart and I feel like I'm feeling again and Jeff and I feel way better in our relationship. And all because like all of this stuff had to come out and I had to feel it and I was puking and I have this rash over my chest and and I was like physically done, but it was so good. And these this experience, this offering we offer in our Yalapa retreat in January that I know a lot of you are committed to and then offer in, in the energy healing certification coming up, up in October. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I want to go deep. But I can tell you, I felt like all the resistance. Like I was sitting across from my teacher as she was working on me and I was just like, you, <laughs> like you are like hurt. Like I was like angry with her and feeling resistance towards her and like irritated with her. And funny enough, a lot of what I was clearing is a lot of that, that I've absorbed doing one-on-one -on -one work with people is like those unconscious bullets that sometimes I'm in the, in the path of. I mean, you do need this. So... Let me show you, I'm just gonna like grab a Sharpie here or Expo or whatever and show you what, so we are born, oh, this marker's kind of a dud. Oh, well, well, we'll work through it. So we're born like a whole person, right? So this is our energy field, really beautiful, really intact. When we're born, when we come from the cosmos, heaven, when we come from, I literally, this is my big bang theory. I think God sneezed and then we were all created and that's how we're here. But whole intact energy field. So notice when we're, when we first come here, our energy field is whole. There's no like fraction. So trauma, oh, you guys are gonna have to work with me on these skills, these whiteboard skills. So a little trauma, we'll put like an infarct in our energy field, call that an anxiety, call that worthlessness, call that fear, call this one rage. Let's make a really weird one over here. Call this one pain. And then how about lots of stuff in childhood here? So trauma causes fractions in our energy field. So if your energy is meant to go in one loop and always be together. So notice from here, this energy is only running in this circuit. Notice here, this energy can only run from here to here. Your energy is meant to go all around and be in this, in this harmonious flow. This energy can only go from here to here. And all these little arrows, these little things that you see, they're, it's trauma. And trauma can be, like I said, I've, I've worked through and I've cleared my chronic illness, the deepest, darkest things of childhood. And what last night it was, was like collective suffering. Like I was like crying for animals and people and my family and like clients and some of the births that I've been at. And it, I didn't even realize I had all that to feel. And so, so don't um, lowercase or underscore your trauma. Like trauma is trauma. If it affects your nervous system, there's, it's a meant to, so say this little infarct here, you're meant to complete the emotional cycle. So energy healing is like soul retrieval, right? And it's, we live in such a physical world when we are completely energetic beings and our physical body is just the manifestation of this. So when we're doing energy healing, and we'll do a little bit here in a second. We're completing this, the emotional cycle. We're completing the circuit. And I am amazed and so proud and loving the community that shows up week after week for this Sunday night. But I guarantee you, if you're hearing this message, you're being called to go deeper. And the more resistance you feel to it, like I did, and the more like I'm pissing you off or I'm kind of annoying you or like there's something that I'm saying that's just like, ugh, like that's your ego resisting it because I ha I still have it and I have it and will have it and had it last night and it was beautiful. Today I feel so happy. I feel like just not like you know when you kind of get the Sunday scaries like oh Monday's coming I gotta go back to work like I don't have that today. I don't feel this heaviness of like I gotta get out of my feminine. I gotta get out of this flow and I gotta get back to the grind and even our yoga class this morning. So I went and it's, I thought I was going to end up sleeping in, but I woke up, felt great. I went and practiced with Sue, the class before me. And I had a little bit fewer students than normal show up. And I said, what do you guys want today? And they're like, oh, we're just kind of like feeling heavy. We're kind of tired. I said, screw it. 
I like ditched the class I had planned, the playlist. I pulled up the meditation playlist from last night. It was such beautiful music. I will share it with you guys if you want it. And I just did this like intuitive flow. I was like, I have no idea what we're gonna do. So if it gets a little like splotchy and like pause, and it was beautiful because I cleared, I'm sure there's more in my body, but I cleared so much of this so that my energy was moving congruently and I can feel and I can heal and I can be happy and I can feel vitality again. Energy healing is literally soul retrieval and, and trauma puts fractures in our energy field. So, ooh, the playlist. Okay, how am I gonna share this playlist? Will you guys comment like an idea? Could I put it in the YouTube? Here's what I'll do. I'll put it in the, I'll put this video on YouTube while I'm like talking to you all with the Sharpie and I'll put the playlist in there. I think if it's, if it should be public from my teacher. So anyways, I, I will share it. So what I'm curious, don't be shy. Um, I can keep it anonymous too in your comments. Where, where do you fall? Like, where do you feel yourself being called deeper? And it might look different. Like, do you feel yourself being called to an hour long meditation? Do you feel yourself called to yoga, energy and certification, a retreat with us, a different ceremony somewhere, somewhere else, someplace else? Like what? I had a client message me a couple weeks ago and she was like, what do you think about Zion? And I was, she's like, I know you do retreats. And I'm like, it doesn't matter where I do retreats. If you're called to go there, like you have to go, like you have to go. So I really want to hear from you all, like where, where you feel yourself being called. Um, I just feel so renewed today. And instead of being like when our energy field looks like this, we're just operating in these little mini cogs of ourself. Like there's no energy that's connected the throat energy center. This is what's so cool and fascinating. When you have a blocked throat chakra, when you have thyroid disease, your throat energy center has seven chambers. So it stores every single energy center, like a little antenna to it in the thyroid. That's why like thyroid disease is one of the first things to happen when the body gets toxic pathogens, trauma in it, nutrient deficiencies, whatever. What, you know, autoimmune disease, that's what it is. The throat energy center, has, I can't even touch mine, so much energy, has all of the energy centers in one. And when there's a disconnection, when you're, when trauma starts to create your energy field looking like this, first energy center is going to be throat to be blocked, leading to thyroid disease. So as you see that, I know I have a lot of medical professionals that, that follow this form of energy medicine. And when you see thyroid disease in someone, you know that their energy center, their body is not talking to each other. There's not like a congruent place where ever, like those little mini cog wheels, they're all separate and they're not, they're not talking with one another. And so whether you're doing your home practice or you're, you're at a yoga class or you're going to a retreat or whatever you, you're in a meditation, whatever you feel yourself being called to deeper, think about like soul retrieval, creating that flow and moving all you have to do to heal. This is all I did last night was feel and cry. I mean, maybe you don't have to cry. Jeff was sneezing. It was very bizarre. Um, I mean, I was crying and then I like had some like settle in time where it was just nice. And then I was like puking and then I was sweating and, and then my chest one more time. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> he doesn't care, but flashing Instagram, like all of this was coming out and I, we don't even realize that we're walking around as like fractured and limping and hurting versions of ourselves. And it's all of your healers and teachers too, because we're still in a human body. There's no one, I mean, like even Jesus, right? He, he still had, I mean, I mean, I think he was pretty close to perfect. I haven't met him, but well, I have met him in the quantum field, but I haven't met him in person. But I mean, the, the literature and the scriptures of him talk about his, but I mean, he even flipped over some tables and got pissed and got in his ego. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm laughing at Jeff. No more chest showing on the Instagram video. Thanks, babe. Uh, he said he wanted more. All right. Well, I want this to inspire you guys to ask for a knowing. We're going to go through this healing together and asking for a knowing that, that um, what this like calling you deeper 
finding that place of discomfort. Like, what is it? Maybe you're called to, if you're in Kansas City, Melissa Sowers does breath work on Tuesdays. I have a yoga and energy healing community class once a month, first Wednesdays at Liberty Memorial or my office in Shawnee if it rains, like last week. And all we have to do is feel it to heal it and to start to change this crazy messed up pattern, to start to heal our thyroid disease, our ulcerative colitis, our IBS, our depression, our anxiety, all of those things, these physical conditions, they're energy screwing up our energy field. And we get these lower, slower moving energies like grief and pain and like suffering was the theme of last night. I just felt so much suffering and it spins slow and low. And when you're really um, proficient at alchemizing energy and where I've gotten to this point is like, I can get, I can get in my routine. I can do my spiritual practice and I'll kind of transmute that really quick to feel high and to feel elevated. But last night it, I had to go down, 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 down. I could feel myself sinking into it is what I was saying at the beginning. I was like, I feel myself sinking down. And when I sunk down, 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 I met all of this lower spinning, fear, anxiety, grief, pain, depression, it's lower moving energy stored in your body. It's slow. And what feels good is really fast, happy energy. And so we, we get ourselves up here and we do all these things. We go work out and we like take some caffeine and we pull some cars and oh, we feel good. But like there are times we're called deeper and we have to sit in the, the shit to feel it. And we have, to, that's how we clear it. That's how we alchemize it. And um, my chest broke out. I puked. I was crying. <laughs> More stuff than that, but I'll leave it at that. So, hmm. Do you guys have any questions before we do? I want to set an intention and give space for something to come to you of like, how are it, how am I being called deeper? Even if it makes me uncomfortable, even if my ego's like kind of judging it, your ego will, it'll just judge like, like part of my ego is like, um, is it cool on a Saturday night, Jen, you're going to do this like meditation sit? Like, shouldn't you be doing something more social and fun? And are, you think you're like pious and, and like it, all this stuff came in my head, you know? And like, I'm super excited about my little scarves. And it was like, well, who are you trying to be? Like the ego's just, it's always there. And just say, okay, I hear you. I see you. Thank you for being here for me. So how are you being called deeper? That's uncomfortable for you that's making you question okay i want to invite you if if you need an experience and you don't have one um i'll mention two things and see in this meditation what you're called to but our we have the energy healing certification coming up in october and early bird pricing is until september 1st so go to my website link is in my bio for that if you're interested or come to a retreat or go do something else in the community or in your community, if, if you're not in the local area, there's something calling you deeper. And, and you, as I'm saying this, it's kind of like nudging you, nudging you, because our physical body is just an expression of our energy field. And if you're suffering with physical symptoms, have to address the energy field, right? And you know what's funny is I have had this like kind of um, collarbone, tightening around like I get when I get massages I have a knot directly like behind my heart chakra and it's it came out all last night and this huge rash and it feels so good oh yeah Jeff you're right we do have a mini retreat if you're in in KC coming up in September at Sacred Hearts and they run programs and healing all the time and if you're not in KC you can find something in your area or send me a message maybe you can come down for an event so okay double tap the hearts if you think you need, if you guys want to do some healing tonight, or if you just want to go into readings, um, let me know, comment, heart, hearts for energy healing, nothing for, for readings, or we'll just see how it goes. What do you, what do you guys need? Let me know. Okay. All right. We'll do a little healing. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. Settle into your space. You know what's funny is when I get into the when I'm like preparing for these lives when they're going to be really shifting for um shifting for someone is like I feel so much resistance in doing them and I, I felt that so I'm excited to see what what comes about all right so sink into your body 
and notice, have you ever had this thought of like, I do energy healing because I want my third eye to open in my crown and I want to see things and I want to know things and I want to access the unseen and the unknown. And that's honestly why I went into the meditation last night. But what if we shift that right now into I want to feel what's unfelt so I can have an energy field that flows and it's harmonious in a body that looks and feels good. <laughs> Take a deep breath in, sigh it out. I won't be able to facilitate the space for that deep, deep healing tonight, but we're gonna allow it to come into where that will be. So bring your left hand to your heart, your right hand to your belly. If you have trouble feeling like connected or your intuition or you just feel like you're out of your body or you're in fight or flight if you bring your left hand to your heart your right hand right over your belly button and just breathe you'll connect right in with your body and your body is the physical vessel that your soul's chosen to do this human life thing in so feeling into your body whisper up a prayer if you feel ready i want to go deeper Notice what comes in when you say, I want to go deeper. I instantly get an image I'll share with you in a moment. What does it feel like to go deeper? What does it look like? Are you seeing things? Are you feeling a feeling? Are you seeing yourself doing work on other people, on yourself? Are you seeing pain? Are you seeing tears? Are you seeing purging? yourself to have this outer body experience something that's really fascinating to me what's happening right now is when the energy starts flowing really heavy I feel like out of my body like my hands aren't my hands like I feel like someone else's hands are on my body right now it's really cool Emma I feel like you get that too I'm just feeling you <laughs> when you work on people Breathing in a little bit deeper. Even if you're not sure it's possible or what it feels like, you can imagine what it's like to have an energy field that's intact. Where the fear, the anxiety, the depression, the hopelessness doesn't live, where the physical body feels vibrant regardless of every morsel of food you eat. Whether you've got enough sleep, whether you've got enough supplements, this body that's this beautiful feedback loop. Just giving yourself a moment to feel into it. Okay, so the mental resistance of my ego mind is so strong right now. Okay, so meeting resistance with resistance will create more resistance so just allow that ego imagine her as a version of yourself like a person and just allow her to come sit right next to you so keep breathing through that experience who wrote that comment I'll, I'll keep you anonymous so your ego you feel her there you feel that resistance you feel the chatter you hear what she's saying And just let her sit there right next to you, like you're listening to a person. Ask her a couple questions. Why do you feel that way? Just let her have her voice. Feel your body settle in. And tune into your heart now so she can still sit there on your right side talking and expressing what she's feeling and then tune into your body so when you say i want to go deeper in my healing i'm ready if your body could just spring forth from the room you're in and go anywhere be doing anything what would it be doing or what would it be feeling 
take a few seconds, take a few mental notes mm. on this. Stay in it. If you're coming out of it, go ahead and write in the comments what you're feeling, what you're seeing. If you're still in it, keep breathing. A lot of us are already very open intuitively, but we're not feeling everything to feel in our bodies, and that's what's creating our physical pains, our surgeries. I watch people all the time, and this isn't necessarily wrong, right? If they have a surgery, it's their path. I've had surgery when I wasn't aware of like tearing my ACL two times was a block, and my left knee was a block in my feminine flow and my feminine energy. And I was push, trying to push past it because I didn't trust it, right? So surgery is not, it doesn't mean it's a bad path, but when we find out there's another way, literally my ACL the second time healed in energy healing. Like I saw light and little like, it was like little mini fairies or angels or something weaving through it. You don't have to believe me if you're like, what in the world? I still don't believe it. But they were like weaving through it and I just heard it's healed. And then I had an intuitive reading from someone who's very good, who also, if you need someone, um, send me a message, I'll connect with her. She only reads for select people, but she'll know if she can read for you or not, it's really cool. But anyways, she didn't know about this. She didn't know me. And she was like, oh, your knee was hurt. And she was like, it's, it's gonna be healed in a year. It's already healed, but they say just give it a year and that it was healed spontaneously, and it was. So like, you know, those things don't always happen, but like with my throat, my throat wasn't, my thyroid wasn't spontaneously healed, but through the nutrition, through the supplements, through the clearing, through the cleaning up of this stuff, my thyroid now, when they said, let's remove it, works great. And I'm on no medication and it feels amazing. So, okay. What did you guys have come up when you said, I, I want to go deeper in? We're going to stay on for a couple more minutes and then we'll part ways this evening um, and request to join if you are in need of like a reading for us to tune in for you, for just you want to come on and ask some questions, functional medicine, energy healing. If you need something, send me a request to join the video and we'll bring you on. I saw a deep dark well in the ground. My solar plexus showed me a light bulb and I felt expansion. That's interesting about the deep dark well in the ground. So I was pulled to like a longer stay in the in Yalapa where we do retreats. And uh, it's interesting that you say the deep dark well because there's like an act, we don't personally do this in our retreats, but we can. There's this like exercise where they bury you in the sand and they, it's this like beautiful, it sounds bizarre. Like when you're like hearing about these things or retreats, you're like, that sounds terrible. But they, there's a way that they do it with like respect and with um, like the shamans that come. And it's like this beautiful thing. So I wonder if it's that. Um, I saw more feminine energy, dancing, community, receiving. Mm, I love that. Carly, I'm wondering, I'm going to say something and tell me if this lights up your body or you don't have to tell me, just know it. And then we can talk about it later. Um, embodiment women's retreat we're having that it's not in the near future but it's in within the next year um, so feel into that if your body lights up at that I wonder if, if that's what you're tuning into or something else we will I know you'll be at the energy healing certification we will be doing some dance and some movement to open up our sacral areas and it's going to be so fun this like embodiment practice do you teach any morning classes for yoga yeah so on so when I have an online library um, that you have access to, it's $40 a month and you can just buy one month and continue to renew if you want. And it also has Sue Parks classes. And then I teach Sundays at 11, Mon every other Monday at six, and then one Wednesday a month at six. That's if you're in the KC area and if not, you can do it online. And then my YouTube, I put a couple things on YouTube too. Um, was just a good deep breathing and release of energy and anxiety. Just feeling, right? Like, and sometimes you'll know exactly what's coming up. Like, I purged, aka vomited, two or three times last night. And my teacher, she was like, what did you feel came up? And I, the first time I was like, 
I don't really actually believe in demons. Um, we can get into that another time. Let me know if you want me to talk about that. But it was like that kind of energy and it wasn't my own. And then um, the second time I didn't know. And then when her and Jeff were working on my hips, cause I was like, there's something stuck in my root. Like I didn't know what it was, but I just felt it. So good job. Feeling something heavy on my heart, like a heavy block. Does it look, um, Rosie, does it look like black and square? Like I'm literally seeing like the square space icon. Um, and I know you're so connected. Our pain and our unresolved grief, like if, um, like anger almost, or, and it can be with God, it can be at someone that can block that like heart connection that we want. You can feel frustration. Let me know. Um, Carly said yes. Okay, well, we'll maybe shoot me. I think I'll see you coming up, but maybe shoot me an email and we can. I'll tell you more about that. I have all the details. I just, we're just one thing at a time. Want to want to roll things out. My brain keeps going back to an image of someone I'm close to, and I'm very blocked on the idea of meeting their significant other. Is this, this isn't the same, is there a connection when you came on that day? Rachel, I'm curious. That's what's coming to mind. Let me know. My C-section scar has a major energy block. Yeah, I feel it pulling me towards my divine feminine energy, but there's still a lot of hurt surrounding that. That theme of, um, Mandy, the, the mothering theme for you. Like there's so much pain in being a mom for you. It's like everything that you've wanted and yet at the same time like there's so much pain like you feel like it's hard for and you'll have to let me know how this is landing with you like there's so much pain in providing for your kids and like caring for them and then the, the physical process of bringing them through and yet you have like some other things every time I connect with you it's I just feel this pull of like there's there's being a mom and whether it's doula work or energy work or whatever work that is speaking to you like it's it's being a mom and and there's that dichotomy of like to be healed for you of like if I'm if I'm a mom this is the paradigm like that you were passed down like this is what it has to look like and I'm almost maybe I'm having deja vu but I'm almost positive that's come up before um also saw a very special person in heaven yeah and Rosie, does he live behind? Notice like when you saw that block, if once you saw it, felt it, acknowledged it, if he came forward for you, like if he was kind of behind that block in that linear order. Um, I'm feeling super grounded after spending last few days at the river, feeling strong need for tribe and community. We got it here, Karen, we got it here. Did your, um, did the garlic work? When you reached out, I'm super curious if you're feeling better with the garlic. Man, y'all, raw garlic, it has more allicillin than penicillin. It is a strong antibiotic. Like, it's incredible. If And you can't take too much of it. And it won't destroy your gut. So if you get, like, a tooth infection or a zit or, um, I don't know, like, stomach ache, sinus infection, take raw garlic. Take, like, a whole bowl. Chop it up. Put it in honey. Take it throughout the day. It'll knock the infection right out. The hand on my heart felt warm and almost vibrating, torn about possible procedure for my son. Tiffany, do you feel like coming on? And it's okay if you don't. You don't have to. Maybe I feel really, I feel uh, called to support you in these last couple of minutes if that, if you're open. And if not, no worries. You can put anything in the comments or just let me know if you want to come on and we'll do a little breathing for you. Um, Rachel said that person I spoke about last time has stayed out of my life. So grateful for that. And our higher self will do that. Like our, our soul, right? When we're creating. So let that be an example, Rachel, of when you worked with that in the energy field, how you don't have to deal with it in the physical. So with, you know, not wanting to meet this, this person's significant other, like work with it in the energy field 
and establish those boundaries and make that request known and see how much less work you have to do in the physical or the masculine. Yes, two sensation totally vanish, of course. All right, I think, um, Okay, so someone put a question helping with alcoholism. Um, Tiffany, I still see you. So let me know if, if there's anything we can dive into more. So this person said helping with alcoholism. So can you let me know any, I'm, I'm just going to start talking, but let me know any specifics. So with alcohol, and speaking from experience, I've had my fair share of experiences it takes us it takes all of this slow spinning heavy slow circulating energy and when you drink alcohol or spirits it it pushes it all down so for a time for a moment it it'll disappear meditation other medicine energy healing um, it will bring all of that energy up so alcohol, it's so addicting because when we have a lot of trauma, we got a lot of this going on in our body, it pushes it down. It just goes, whoosh, so then we don't feel it. And it's, it feels so good. And then on top of that, our nervous system is where trauma is stored and it's a nervous sy system relaxant. So that's why I like everyone's just a little bit better of a dancer after a couple drinks. And in our energy healing certification, we'll, we'll work with that energy and that we'll get into the energy and energy can be intoxicating. You can literally feel drunk and dancing and we'll do this in the certification together of like where you just, you feel like you're on something because it's energy, alcohol's an energy. But it, and I think this is a, a personal belief. It's crazy to me that energy healing is kind of demonized in the more like religious sectors and alcohol like they don't bat an eye i'm like are you kidding me like alcohol and have a drink if you want to have a drink and live your life like of course you know um it's like if you i won't get into that i was going to talk about food but we did that last time check the replay from last week but alcohol is going to push all those energies down and it also opens your energy field up so you're you're more receptive. Like think, I mean, we make bad decisions and like hook up with people that were like, what were we doing when we drink alcohol? Because it, there's no filter on the energies that can come into us. And spiritually speaking, or if you're a religious person, think about it. Like your connection to God is unfiltered, right? And alcohol makes that cloudy. So see if that resonates. And there's plenty of really great energy healers, teachers I learned from that have some drinks, but so alcoholism, I, if that, let me know if that answers your question. Oh, I think you said something. I am sober now, but my godmother is in trouble. Ask her if she'd be open to other healing, other energy healing. And people who are have had addictions or who currently have addictions, and we all have an addiction, whether it's alcohol, the phone, food, whatever, we, we're humans. She's highly sensitive. She's sensitive to energy. So ask her if she'd be open to trying another way and and it can be enough of something um, to, it can be enough like to have like a session or a reading or anything to, to watch a replay that gives her a little bit of hope. And you'll notice it can become a, the new addiction, like the energy lean, but it's okay because eventually she's, she'll be chasing a high and then eventually she'll come down to face all the energy that's down here that the alcohol keeps her above at all times. Um, being a mother and blank. This is, I'm reading a comment from someone else. And then Tiffany, I'm going to bring you on and then we'll close. Um, so my, all of us, we're all on here very intuitive. So stay on. I think we're going to help out Tiffany tonight. And I promise you there will be a time that you need it. Like on my birthday, <laughs> we'll never forget that. Being a mother and I am still trying to open myself to what the other thing is. I know I will know when it fits. I'm still working on that heel first and that has come up before my reading absolutely and you with that endeavor does it feel like for you Manny like you like I have to become something before I can be a mother and but after you do the healing like what you naturally are when you remove all this jagged crap that thing will just be, you are that thing 
right? Like when I, I've never taken an energy healing training or I never learned it from anything. I just started being myself and it became my thing. You know, I hope that resonates. Okay, we're gonna bring Tiffany on. Tap in and tune in for her. Thanks for being brave, Tiffany. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for being brave and connecting with us. Oh, no worries. Sorry, I just got out of the shower. So <laughs> perfect. We like authenticity. <laughs> so, so tell us like as much or as little that feels comfortable to share, and then I can lead you through a process, or we'll tap in. We'll just there's no formal structure. So let us know what's going on. And everyone who's watching, when you feel pings in your body or you feel the spirit speaking to you, feel free to put it in the comments and I'll read those as we go along. Okay. Um, yeah. So kind of when we were doing the meditation, I just felt my hand on my heart and I just felt it was warm and almost vibrating. Mm -hmm. And I have, um, my son has a tongue tie and they want mm -hmm. to um, do a procedure and I'm really torn about that mm -hmm. um, we've you know he's only six months old yeah. and doing a lot of work I've done energy healing for him I've done mm -hmm. different therapies um, chiropractic work and I'm just like torn and we're getting closer to mm -hmm. a date where we're getting a consultation and it's just it's pulling really heavy at my heart mm -hmm. and that's kind of like where I'm at Okay, I'm gonna ask some questions. I'm at the very end, if we still need it, I can speak to you about this as a lactation consultant, but I wanna talk about the, the energy first. Um, okay. So like when you feel, so like your heart, it's a lot of heart energy, right? Like, yeah. what is your biggest fear for him? And like, what feels like that excruciating pain in your body that wants to protect him from the procedure, if that makes sense? Uh, it's the trauma, like. The trauma. Uh, the like yeah like yeah. just the fear of like me not being there or not being able to help him mm -hmm. and like just that trauma of the actual experience and you resonate with that yeah that being like it's something in you too that you've went through yeah it must be yeah mm -hmm. and it's think when... we're What's that? Well, you know, I actually, no, I did have like oral surgery one time. And so I kind of was in that can't control, but I'm in this traumatic kind of circumstance. You said he's six months. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when do you, I'll tell you what I'm, what I'm feeling for you. When do you have to decide? Like, can you decide the morning up? Like when you go, like if you need to go into the procedure or not? Yeah, like it's to that point, like I've told my husband, I like yesterday, I was kind of like, I just, I keep feeling like, I just don't know, like, I keep getting information that comes like, maybe there's another way. And that's kind of like, we were told, mm -hmm. I guess, when he was two months old. And so I've spent from two months to six months, trying alternative things. And Are you so still breastfeeding or like pumping? Yeah. No, I'm breastfeeding. Okay. And is it pretty uncomfortable for you? Is that one of the reasons that you want to get the procedure? No, no, it's not it anymore. Mm -hmm. It like he had low weight gain and it's more about the tension in his body that it's creating. Okay. And they've, how many, this is a really good question. Um, how many opinions have you had? Um, I've had three lactation consultants, a mm -hmm. chiropractor, um, a like a feeding or no um cranial sacral mm -hmm. fascia therapist and then i guess the next would be a dentist okay so and they've all been like consistent with their yeah yeah okay. like it and when it first happened they were like yes you need to do this and i was like whoo like it i was a very strong no so okay that was your first intuition huh like, yeah. Do you I've, feel that it's really about his tongue? No, like, I think it's more of his body. What, mm -hmm. yeah, he, he's holding the tension in his body. And that's where I'm like, I, I had that thought actually that came to me yesterday. I'm like, I really feel like it's, it's not about his tongue. I think it's his body. Yeah. Or energy. 
Yes, because when you first came on, there's there's so many layers to this. As a lactation consultant, here's what I'll say, like a tongue tie, even at six months, like the procedure, I mean, it's intense, but I'm very sensitive and would not want to encourage anyone to do any interventions not needed. And a revision is one of those things that I'm like, it's kind of worth it. It's like getting your ears pierced. Like it's going to suck for a minute and you got to keep, keep them rotated and cared. But it's go back to the first thing you felt. What intuition will speak first, intuition will come in and then ego follows. So mm-hmm. you first felt like a no in your body about it. Yeah. And then, and then, but ego is like, but all these specialists tell me I need to, and it's, I'm going to harm him. If I don't, is that kind of what's going on? Yeah. And then my husband is kind of like, well, we've tried everything and now mm-hmm. like, this is our next step. What was it like um, when you were carrying him in your life? Were you, were you going through anything that was pretty intense or just um, comfortable in your body? Yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, because I was a caretaker mm-hmm. for my mom mm-hmm. um, in the beginning. And so there was kind of some resistance with trying to help her with some health struggles. Mm-hmm. Was your body <laughs> tense? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, let me read some comments and then I'm going to ask you a couple of things. Oh, okay. Tiffany, I feel your worries so much. My 10 year old just had his tire revised this past year. I wish so much that we had revised it sooner because of how tight his fascia is through his body. And then another comment says, I felt no too. I feel a resounding no as well. I think it's so perfect to have like, like a mom being, you know, empathizing of, Hey, this can be a good experience because Again, like if it was just about the simple laser or the clip, like it, it's not that intense. Like, I mean, it's intense, but it's, it's not, it's not like a hip surgery or something, you know, I'd say it's less, less uncomfortable in circumcision. Um, but you're get you know, these intuitive women here surrounding you, they're feeling no, you felt to no. Tell me about the, the clearing and the work that you've been able to do and there's no shame. We can only get so far on our, on our own. Like, mm-hmm. do you feel like that tension, some of that's still stored in your body? Yeah. Like now yeah. that we've got it, I feel like, yeah, that's a piece mm-hmm. maybe that I'm, I'm still trying to work through because there was so long um, of time that I was a caregiver for my mom mm-hmm. and there were some like tense moments through that path. And so, yeah that's, you know, a piece that I'll continue to, you know, try to work and heal. You still have this like energetic umbilical cord with your child. Yeah. Right? Like it's, and he's still, and it, do you have one kiddo or two? Just one. This is my Just first. One. And you would know, like, he's probably a really sensitive kid. Yeah. And so he can carry, how many days do you have? Uh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. I would see how much of the inner work, the healing in your body, the releasing of your, like what you're carrying to just clear up your space to make that decision. And then Wednesday, you can wake up and be like, what, what is it in my body? And right. my encouragement is your first intuition. And then reading, you know, you can go back to this replay and I'll read every comment out loud. Um, so Mandy said I had major back and forth leading up to it too. And she was saying, you know, her 10 year old had his revised and it was really helpful for the fascia through his body. And then Lindsay said not to advise against anything. Jen says, you can totally advise against anything. I say, <laughs> uh, there, this is a safe space. There is a really interesting therapy called Gillespie. Did I say that right? Gillespie, Gillespie yeah. approach cranial sacral fascial. And are you seeing someone similar? Yes, we've done, we've actually come to Kansas city to, for um, a therapist that does that. And then there's one back here in St. Louis that does it. And we've, we've seen okay. both. Okay. Did you see any relief with it? Um, I did. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I feel like leading up to this, I'm, I'm seeing more. It just takes time. And like, I keep telling my husband, like, maybe this just takes time. Like yeah. maybe I have more time. What is the worst? Um, so if this is a, a time process, what is the worst thing that is happening for him right now? Like, what are his symptoms with the tongue tie? I'm gonna uh, play a little, like logic here. 
Yes, it's more of body. Um, so like his neck, he constantly kind of wants to pull forward. Mm -hmm. And like he has tension in his body. So like his toes sometimes are really tight curled and like um, his fascia, like when he gets adjusted, like, you know, he's good one day and then, you know, sometimes things revert. So it's like we keep making, you know, four steps forward and then take two steps back. And so it's kind of like this mm -hmm. dance and we can't just finally get to the bottom of it because they say, you know, it, things are so tight. So I'm seeing this parallel as you talk. I have a client in her 30s and she's, her history is really unique. She was in a car accident that involved her jaw. They're now, so she's in this tongue tie process and she started coming to me and they said it's causing her headaches. And we, looked at blood work and you know, your son's like a microcosm of this. And we're looking at all these other factors when some of the specialists are telling her, Oh, once we do this procedure, like you should be good. But according to her blood work, working with her energy field, I'm like, you have every reason to be having migraines right now mm -hmm. from trauma to CRP of 16 um, to gluten intolerance there. So there can be other factors to my encouragement for you, if your body is a resounding no, like your body, like shutting down the mind, if your body's like hell or high water, don't, I don't want you getting that procedure right now. It could change, right? We, we don't right. have to say never, but if right now, I mean, that's your intuition speaking for your body and maybe your body just will always, your body has this divine wisdom that could be saying maybe this week is just the wrong week. Maybe he'll be fighting off a cold. You don't know. And the stress of the procedure, except like the body just knows things that we don't know and we don't know why, but we can trust the body. And right. then in, in the meantime, having, you know, other people kind of hands on board, look at the, the whole picture. I don't know. Um, well, I probably, I assume that a trusted like intuitive or someone in the energy field, I would see what some people see without, you know, seeing his body, if there's, if there's some other things going on that could be helpful too, to see like it, my intuition for you, my reading is it's not about just the tongue tie. Like when they, when they, when, and if they clip, it's, it's, it won't be the, the whole picture it won't be the, right. the only thing, but it could be, I could be wrong, but your body knows. Yeah. Yeah. What, um, your son's six months. I, I'm going to think on this and if anything comes to me, I'll reach out to you. Okay. Um, even like muscle testing his body and there would be a couple ways and like tuning into the wisdom of his body and your body. Mm -hmm. so, how mm -hmm. does this feel? No, that makes sense. And like, thank you for your guidance um, with that. I appreciate it. I know you'll make the right choice as his mom. <laughs> like God gave you this kid. Like you're his, his mom, because you, you're like the steward of, of these decisions for him. You'll make the right choice. Thank you. I Trust yourself. It. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know if you need anything. And um, I'm curious if, if it feels right to share and you want to reach out later, I'd love to, to know how it goes. Okay. Thank you so much. I yeah, really welcome, Tiffany. All right. Take yeah. care. Bye. Bye. Thank you everyone who helped us and chimed in. That's, that's so helpful. I love the experiences of moms that have had this and, and been through it and you can offer like the perspective of that was help, helpful. And then I love what everyone was saying about feeling in their body as well. So cool. Well, thank you all for, for joining tonight and we'll be back next week. I forget like the weeks of what it is. And if you have any questions or you, there's something we're talking about that you want to see addressed or you want covered Tiffany, I know it's probably like painful for you to still be on here. There should be an X in the right hand corner that you can click and it'll take you out of it or you close out of the app. <laughs> um, if you have questions, if there's something that you want covered, send me a message or comment on a story or something and we'll do our best to, to capture that information. And then being called deeper, two invitations, the energy healing certification online or in person in October and our upcoming retreat in January for Yalapa. So Lots of opportunities. If you go to inspirehealthbygen.com, both of those opportunities are listed there. You can do a one-on-one -on -one with me. You can reach out. I know Emma's doing sessions. She has some openings this week. This is an abundance community. So whatever you need, 
reach out. It's time to go deeper and we'll see y'all next week.